there's been many, many instances or, or situations where crocodile have got up on people. And these people live in the bush and they, they, are, they are far more aware of their surroundings than what we are. And the crocodile still manages to get up to them and grab them by the arm or by the chest or the leg or whatever it may be without them having any idea at all. This was a really arrogant crocodile that had lost its fear of man and was getting too close and there's been instances in the past where guys have had accidents with the same sort of lead up and behavior of a crocodile so we decided to shoot this crocodile before anyone got hurt. It can't be said that a crocodile attack is unpredictable. It's all too predictable, yet it still comes as a shock as Chirimeka Chikui can testify. Went up at the stream Zambezi River, went to fish some of the small fish called Mbiri. As I was trying to fish, there was um, a little bit stream, uh, that stream. So I was trying to jump over the other place. So I didn't know the croc was down that stream, waiting for impalas and uh, uh, baboons, the way they used to do there. The, the, the fish was not biting there. I said, ah, let me try to go over there. So when I was trying to go over there, I said, ah, this is too small. Let me just, just jump. So I tried to jump at the other side. On. This may not be a case of letting sleeping crocs lie, but when Chikui splashed in near it, the old croc reacted instinctively. Luckily, only grazing Chikui's leg. Hit me, straight away and fall down. The wave come to my near about uh, one meter and the, the water go back faster and the once we face each other. Croc to, and myself face to face. I said, ah, a croc, my way. That's the second hit a man, just only a second. It doesn't take you almost two seconds, only a second. Very fast, very dangerous. And the wave is so big. It's, it was too old. When the crocodile get too old, can't get, find any food. That's why he was looking for the people to catch. He was it's easy. Praying, thank God for giving another chance of living in the world. That croc, there's a, a, there's a certain pH shorted to us, about 14 and a half uh, foot. The pH just shorted, and I was very glad about it. I was very, very happy. He was very, very lucky to get away. A crocodile doesn't have to be a 14 or 15 foot crocodile to, to do any damage to you. In fact, there's some, there's some guys that have escaped from 14, 15 foot crocodiles and some guys that have died from 9, 10 foot crocodiles. You get caught by a crocodile, you're in a lot of trouble. You've got a big fight on your hands. They're just horrible, horrible, scary animals for me. I don't like crocodiles at all. I, I'm very nervous and cautious of water that I can't see in. If you can't see inside the water, you can be pretty sure that there's a crocodile somewhere there. As ambush predators, crocodiles are highly attuned to their surroundings. No surprise then that Van der Merwe's first day of hunting didn't produce the problem croc. But there's still tomorrow. A big Nile crocodile is not easily fooled. So on day two of professional hunter Zane Van der Merwe's hunt for the problem animal, he uses a new bait and new blind. There's two ways of hunting crocodile here. Yeah. There's the walk and stalk method, um, shooting off a bait. And the main reason why we used the bait is because we had to positive ID a, a particular crocodile that had been hassling some of the guys at the camp. We had to put the bait further out of the water than what we would normally do in a normal situation because we needed a positive ID the crocodile before we shot it. Shooting a crocodile is not just a matter of walking up to one and shooting one. Um, they've got very, very keen senses. The smell is very acute, the hearing is very acute, the, the sight is very, very good. And on top of that, they can actually pick up a vibration. They can, they can feel you coming. It's not just a matter of walking up clumsily to the edge of the bank and shooting one lying, basking in the sun. 
it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Blind placement is critical. It must be close enough for a clean shot, far enough away to keep the crop calm and shield the hunter's approach to it. When we're building a blind, it's very similar to the blinds I built for leopard or for lion. Um, we plan our approach very carefully, always downwind of where the bait is. We sweep the path so that there's no chance of a noise or, or standing on a stick or a leaf because that could easily give, give the whole thing away. Um, we build a, a screen, we put the shooting holes in, um, we pace out the bait, we make sure the rifle is dead on at that range and then it's the sit and wait game. One of the most important things with crocodile is putting in an accurate first shot. Once that crocodile gets off a bank or off a sandbar into this river in particular, into the deep current, you can say goodbye to that crocodile. There is no room or margin for error in your marksmanship when you're shooting a crocodile down here. You put a bait out there and where you've seen one or two, maybe three crocodiles, all of a sudden there's 20. And they're very, very powerful animals. They've got ripping jaws. Then they, they grab the meat and they belly roll themselves to tear it away and then they gulp it down. Sure, choco. Yeah, that's the one. That's definitely the one. Okay, let's shoot him. You've pretty much got two, two different shots that you can do on a crocodile. Either got to spine them, which is the traditional shot. It's a very common shot. It's at the end of their smile. You shoot it and that's right where the spine joins the, the skull. Or you've got to brain them. There's not a lot of margin for error. You've got to hit your target. If you don't, the chances are it's going to wiggle its tail two or three times and that might be it. That might be all it takes for it to get into the deep current. And I always have my main guy, Brown, is always ready with a rope and we run down there as soon as it's safe and we tie that crocodile up. So that if it does get in the water, at least we've got a rope around it. Right. Yeah. Another one? Yeah. That's the one? Very good. You think this is the one, Mark? Yeah. It's been, has been the guys. You're going to have to do some of this when you get your license, eh? Some PSE, Problem Animal Control. It's lucky no one's been taken by this thing. A couple of close ones, but not, no one's been hit yet, They're luckily. A croc this size, it's not a monster, but it's plenty big enough to, to hurt someone badly, or to kill someone. 